Hello! Welcome to Module 11 of Setting Up a Journal with OJS 3.0, Users and Roles. As a journal manager, you're able to manage user accounts that have been created for your journal, including creating new accounts, merging accounts, adjusting roles, adjusting permissions, and removing accounts. This module has been divided into three units. This video is Unit 1, Users. To access users and roles, log into your dashboard at the top right corner of your homepage. In the left navigation, hover over Users and Roles and select Users. This page is a table of all of the user accounts that have been created for your journal. It lists the basic information of first and last names, usernames, and email addresses. If you're looking for a specific user, you can use the search feature. This allows you to look up a user using any of these details. You can also limit the search based on the roles associated with the accounts. Roles will be discussed in more detail in Unit 2 of this module. Beside the search bar is an Add User button. Clicking on this opens a wizard to create a new user account. The mandatory fields are the same mandatory fields we set when creating our personal user accounts back in Module 4, registering and logging in. As the administrator creating an account on behalf of the user, you have the option to generate a random password for this user, as well as to indicate that the user must change their password upon their next login. You can also elect to send the new user a welcome email. Under More User Details, you'll find optional user profile details. When you finish the form, click OK. The wizard will then update and prompt you to attach roles to this new account. Different roles come with different permissions, and assigning or removing them will change what dashboard elements the user has access to, and what tasks within the editorial and publishing process can be assigned to this user. To add a role, click Add Role and select the appropriate role from the drop-down menu. When you've added all of the necessary roles, click OK. Back on the Users table, clicking on the expansion arrow beside the username exposes several tools that can be used to manage the user account. Firstly, you can click on the Email button to open an email wizard if you need to contact this user. Simply enter the subject and body and then click Send. You'll note that the To field populates automatically with the email address stored in the user account. Secondly, you can edit the user account by clicking on the Edit button. You're able to make changes to the person's name, contact information, and password. If you're setting a temporary password for them, you can indicate that the user must change their password on their next login. You can additionally make changes to their country, and if you click on the More User Details expansion button, you can also change nearly all the details we adjusted while setting up our personal user accounts back in Module 6, User Profile. As a journal manager, you have the capability to access and change all registered user profiles. Following, you'll be able to see, and if necessary, adjust the roles associated with this account. To remove a role, click on the X beside the role designation in the right corner of the row. To add a role, click on Add Role at the top of the box. Using the drop-down menu, select the role you wish to add from the available options. Enabling the appropriate roles activates the account to be assigned to certain tasks in other areas of the journal such as section editors or reviewers. When you've completed your edits, click OK.
From the same list of expanded management options, you're able to both disable or fully remove a user account. Disabling the user will open a prompt requesting the reason. Enter an appropriate explanation and click OK. On a disabled user, the expanded menu shows an Enable button instead of a Disable one. Click on it to re-enable the user, entering the reason once more and clicking OK. To remove a user, click Remove and then confirm the action. When you're logged in as a journal manager and view an account that is not your own, you have the ability to log in as that user. This feature allows you to complete actions on behalf of that user, as well as to view the site through their roles. Finally, you're able to merge accounts. This feature is useful if a user accidentally creates more than one account, among other reasons. To merge accounts, click on the Merge User button. You will be asked to confirm that you wish to merge this account with another. Click OK. The wizard will close as the page refreshes. The account you are merging no longer has a Merge button, and if you click on the expansion arrow beside a second account, you'll see that the Merge button has changed into Merge into this user. The account we select first is the account that will be sublimated while the account that we select second will become the permanent account. To complete the account merge, click on Merge into this user and confirm. And that concludes our overview of the user section of Users and Roles. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next module.